So here you can see that I got a bunch of data. I got the serial number, I got the video game console, the name of the console, category, company, and price. But over here what I want to do is I want to create a separate table out of it. Maybe a table which focuses on different categories, companies, and so forth. I can do that with the help of pivot tables here inside of Microsoft Excel. So first of all, I'm going to select the range of a text uh, that is the table where I want to get the data from. So in my case, I'm going to select this right here. And then I'm going to go into insert and here you can see pivot tables. So I'm going to click this and you can see that the selection is there. So select a table or range as you can see over there. And then I can uh, uh, add it in an existing worksheet or create a new worksheet, which is the default for Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new worksheet right here. So it'll take the data and you can see that on the right hand side, you see the pivot table fields. So if I were to click on SN, you can see that the sum of uh, symbol number is 78, but I do, do not actually need that data. So I'm going to check that off. I'm going to go into name and you can see that the names are displayed over here. And over here, you can see that I can actually add in the categories, the companies and so forth. So first, I'm going to go into the category section and let's say I want this uh, not in the row. You're right now, it is in the row section. I can add it as a filter or I can add it as a column as you can see right here. So over here, you can see the console and the handheld has been changed into column or I can even change it to values just like this. Uh, but that is not what I want. So I'm going to change it to columns. So I got console and handheld as my category columns right here. And you got the total right here. So now I'm going to press name and you can see that the name actually appears on the left. I can actually change it into filters or values over here. You can see that the number is actually shown over here. So the number of console is eight, number of hand handhelds is four. So the grand total is 12 consoles. So I'm just going to change it into row because I want to see the numbers. I'm going to change the, uh, I, I'm going to display the price as you can see right here. So now the price is in the values. I can change it into columns so it doesn't make sense or in rows. You can see that different uh, data types are actually formed when I actually drag this. So I'm going to change this thing into value. So n right now I can see that DS Lite is a handle system and uh, th this is where the price actually goes. So the total uh, uh, total price for the consoles over here is 2170 70, while for handheld it is uh, 450. So I'm going to go here and choose company and for the company I'm going to keep it in filters right here. And once I do that, you can see that company becomes a filter. So right now it is set to all right here. I'm going to go over here and choose Microsoft uh, just like this, press OK and only Microsoft uh, consoles actually appear right here. I'm going to go over here and choose Nintendo and press OK and then only Nintendo uh, console actually appears right here. I'm going to choose Sony and then only Sony consoles actually appear. So you can see that uh, these consoles actually uh, go there. I can also select multiple items right here and then only display the ones for Nintendo and Sony and press OK. And there you go. You only have uh, the consoles for Nintendo and Sony right here. So that is how you can use pivot tables to create a new table out of the data you have in the previous table. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.